Okay, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, Doge Chain Gang, to Doge Chain Fam. Uh, before I do get in the video, if you guys could leave a like, comment, sub, all that fun stuff, really helps the channel grow, and I really do appreciate it. It's kind of like giving me a fist bump. Um, anyway, getting into the video now. So we actually did end up breaking down from here, at least, or I know definitely we broke down from the last time I made a video on Doge Chain, but regardless. Um, we did actually end up getting into our green box that we had on over here. We actually haven't necessarily gotten to the area in which we like were primarily looking for, which was that 618. Should we actually end up coming back down to here? Uh, we are actually looking for like slightly lower because that's where a old uh, point of control essentially was at. Which actually, you know what? We should try and pull that up to be quite honest. Um, maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll be able to get it. Right on over here. Yeah, right over here at about 60 flat. Uh, if not, maybe a little bit lower down to 57.9. But anyway, we are on the daily time frame on your like log chart. So if we were to switch this over to your linear now, and then we can try and assess some of this structure right here. Um, excuse me. Ultimately, I think this is super good for Doge Chain. Uh, coming back down here because then I think that actually means that we're closer to a lot closer to like taking off But um, however, do I think that we are necessarily done dropping just yet? Uh, I'm not entirely convinced that we are at to be quite honest um, What we could actually end up having happen here, I would say is Yeah, so let me do this Reverse There we are so those price levels in which we were just talking about, actually, X59. Uh, the only level that we're actually missing right here is that FIFO level. So let me just add that real quick. Wonderful, we have that now. So uh, those points that we we're talking about, actually, R382 matches up almost like perfectly with that uh, point of control on that small profile that we had which is at 591, then you have 574, and then 557 if you're to go based off this one fib right here. Uh, as you guys can see, you did just get rejected at the 382. If you do end up coming back on up, maybe the 50 level is next, which is at 718. From there, then you look for rejection back down, but um, overall, I think very generally speaking, uh, which go over the weekly, very generally speaking, this is not a bad area by any means for Doge Chain, really anywhere between these candles um, or like these wicks. Uh, and then if you were to break uh, below this candle, which is at 597 uh, with like closures, I would say, then there is a chance that you do actually come back down into this area, but uh, I think that'd be less likely to be honest. But, um, Overall, even with the last couple of weeks, you can see for the most part, the like push down have been uh, subsided. And this, there is actually a decent chance that this is the low over here, uh, to be quite honest. So do with this information as you will. I am leaning a bit more bullish on Doge Chain, but um, not entirely convinced that you are done going down here just yet. Um, I mean, even just of looking at this you do have more of like a descending triangle forming right here uh, well, which you have like a black top but you have the wicks oh no i didn't want to do that uh you do have the wicks but for the most part even just looking at this you could pull like a measure move i believe is roughly like this we'll take two of them just to try and be more on point but should we end up getting that? Then the one measured move gets us down to actually about 613. And then the larger move gets us down to actually the 5 level, or uh, yeah, the 5 level right here, which is at 587. Which, if it gets down to there, I think that's almost like literally a fire sale for uh, Doge Chain. So. Um, otherwise, if you were to get this move back on up, that gets you back up to essentially that 1L level, which is at 790, which is a quite nice gain in itself. But um, 
personally, I'm leaning a little bit more towards downside for this. But if you do end up breaking towards upside, you guys know where to look for it. It is at 7.9 or 80 flat. We'll just round up a little bit. But, um, yeah. So, other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.